Good morning, dear students. I am Dildar Ansari. Today, I want to explain a poem for you. Uh, this poem is from class 6, English reader book, unit 5. The caption of the poem is, After the Storm. After the Storm is a beautiful poem written by William Wordsworth. Before I explain this poem to you, I must tell you something about the poet, the author, William Wordsworth. He was a great English poet and he is called the poet of nature because he focused and stressed on the natural beauty and natural phenomena much more. So, although he belonged to the age of romantic or romanticism, that is why he is also called the romantic poet, but his most of the poems are focused on nature or natural phenomena. For example, uh, his other poems are uh, Daffodils and Solitary Reaper. These are also his beautiful creations. Now coming to the poem, After the Storm. This is a piece. This is an extract taken from his long poem Resolution and Independence. In this poem, a traveler passes through or goes through the countryside after a night and that night was very much stormy and rain fell down and now the traveler is passing through that countryside and he saw the beautiful scene and beauty of that village countryside means village and he is explaining he is sharing his joy and experience now come to the poem the poem is there was a roaring in the wind all night. It seems that the last night was a night of heavy rain and storm. The rain came heavily and fell in floods. Last night the weather was stormy. It was a very heavy, heavy rain last night and a storm so due to that downpour of water the situation is like floods you know water is everywhere so the situation of that place is like flood but now the sun is rising calm and bright but after the night passed and morning came now the sun is shining very bright and the weather is clear cool air is blowing and the weather is very very pleasant and beautiful so because you know generally after the rain or after the storm the sky becomes clear and the sun shines brightly that is why the weather becomes pleasant this is the situation this is the scene exactly what happened and what is going on the birds are singing in the distant wood over his own sweet voice the stoke dog broods you know the birds as i told you the sky is clear the sun is shining and uh, weather is very pleasant so the birds are also singing in the distant wood distant wood means thick forest in the forest the birds are singing merrily and with joy 
and the stoke dove stoke dove is a kind of bird the stoke dove broods broods means hatch hatching the eggs the stoke dove is sitting on the egg means she is hatching her eggs so stoke dove is hatching her eggs and the other birds are singing merrily and flying freely the jay makes answers and the magpie chatters the jay makes answers as the magpie chatters jay and magpie are two different birds they also talk each other they also reply one, uh, each other you know jay jay is answering whatever magpie asks magpie is asking question and jay is responding so both these two birds are exchanging their thoughts and they are communicating questioning and answering and all the air is filled with pleasant noise of water yes since the weather is very pleasant beautiful so the birds are singing in the distant wood and the sun is shining brightly and that is why these two birds jay and magpie talking each other and the all the air all the air is filled with pleasant noise of water now the air is also filled with the pleasant noise noise pleasant noise means beautiful noise of waters dear students waters you know you have already learnt that water has no plural form water is since water is an uncountable noun so there is no plural form but here waters is written by william wordsworth and this is a correct word and this is appropriate word waters means not water that we de drink that we take but water means different water bodies like waterfalls streams rivers lakes ponds so now the in the all the air the entire air is filled with the noise of different water bodies like rivers like for uh, waterfalls ponds lakes and other water bodies also so the air is filled with pleasant sound pleasant noise of different water bodies all things that love the sun are out of the sky rejoices in the morning's birth all things that love the sun who doesn't love the sun i think everybody you know when there is rain and when rain falls heavily and after that when the sun comes out in the sky and starts shining brightly then everybody comes out to sit in the sunlight and this is the situation in the poem that everybody whether it is animal bird human being everybody who loves sun has come out from his house from their shelters and now they are sitting and they are moving in the sunlight and they are rejoicing the birth or morning birth means birth means morning came and now it's morning the night passed away and morning came so the morning time is very 
pleasant time beautiful time and since the sun is shining and everybody is out from their house and shelters to sit under the sun under the sun means to sit in the sunlight so they are rejoicing they are happy they are enjoying the sunlight and beautiful weather the the grass is bright with the rain drops on the moors the grass is bright you know grass after the rain or after the night when in the morning we go for a morning walk we see small drops of water on the grass and that dr those drops of water seems like pearls and they when the sunlight falls upon them they shine like pearls and becomes very much beautiful the same thing is happening here the water drops over the grass moors means lap of grass over the moors the water drops are shining brightly and they are fascinating us with their beauty and they are giving us the pleasing moment and beautiful sign and beautiful scene scenery the hare is running races in the moor and with the feet she from the plashy earth no hare hare means rabbit rabbit is running her race rabbit is running her race and with mirth mirth means happiness joy in happiness and joy the rabbit is running race freely here there and everywhere and she is very happy in the uh, she is very happy on this earth with this kind of beautiful weather and a beautiful pleasing moment raises a mist that glitters in the sun now when the rabbit is running the hare is running races that means she is she is raising mist mist means you know mist means a small particle of waters present in our environment you know this is called mist and she raises mist small particle of dust and water see this is mist that glitters in the sunlight that is uh, those mists those mist particles or though that mist shines brightly glittering the mist is glittering in the sunlight and this mist is raised by the hare that is or who is running a race the hare is the hare is running races here there everywhere and she is raising the mist from her feet from her feet she raises mist and that mist shines in the sunlight and it glitters it glitters brightly runs with her all the way wherever she doth run doth doth is a formal english word and which modern means does wherever she wants to go she goes everywhere as i told you here they are everywhere the hare is running races and she is going everywhere with all the way with joy and happiness and she wherever she does go she becomes very happy she runs all her way all the entire path she runs runs and runs 
and she feels very happy and joyful because the weather is pleasing because the weather is fresh because the weather is clear because the sun is shining brightly because the entire environment is very pleasant and beautiful this is what your poem says i think you have exactly understood the poem thank you